always a rainbow within reach on animal song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C, Next time, won't you sing with me? Now this time, let's sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time, won't you sing with me? That was lovely. Hello, friend. It's so good to see you. Hi, Mr. Goose. I'm looking for Fox. Hedgehog, you just used the letter of the day. Goody, what is it? The letter F. F makes the sound f in fox. <laughs> Listen, f f fox. <laughs> f f fox. <laughs> now you try. F f fox. <laughs> Hello, hedgehog. Wanna play flashcards? You just used the letter of the day too. You said flashcards. F, f, flashcards. Let's head to Friendship Forest. Okay. Here are more things that begin with F. Fish. <laughs> fish. Flower. Flower. Flag. Flag. Fox. Fox. <laughs> Frog. Frog. Fan. What letter do all these words start with? F. That's right. The letter F. Letter C. 
safari! Let's find some beginning letter sounds. Ooh, look! Flowers! Listen! Flowers! Flowers! Do you hear that? Flowers begins with F. Flowers! <laughs> Let's find more beginning letters. I see a butterfly. Listen. B, B, butterfly. B, B, butterfly. What letter makes the beginning sound in butterfly? B! <laughs> That's right! B-B-Butterfly! Ah! <laughs> A rainbow! Listen! R-R-Rainbow! R-R-Rainbow! What letter do you hear? R! Right! Look! There's a wiggle bug! <laughs> Listen! W -w wiggle bug! W -w wiggle bug! What letter do you hear? W! <laughs> Wowie! <laughs> Let's listen to the beginning letters again. Flowers. What's that letter? F. F. B, B. Butterfly. What's that letter? B. R. R. Rainbow. What's that letter? R. W. W. Wiggle bug. What's that letter? W. Let's put these four letters in our learning book. Say each letter with me. F. F. Thanks for going on a letter safari with me. See you soon. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too. Let's all play the alphabet game. When I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. What's this letter? E. What's this letter? F. What's this letter? L. What's this letter? T. Now let's do it fast. E. When you see a letter, you say its name. Woo! The letter T. <laughs> it's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called, Why is Nita Upside Down? In this story, a little girl named Nita feels like she doesn't fit in. I wonder why. Well, let's read and find out. Let's begin. Why is Nita Upside Down? 
Written by Emma Hearn, Roxana Bauer, and Sarah Bauer. Illustrated by Sarah Bauer. Nita's hanging upside down, her long hair tickling at the ground. The trees, the grass, the everything is all the wrong way round. Her feet, they poke into the sky. Little Navi is walking by. He says, I've seen you here before. You're upside down again. What for? Her feet swim lightly in the air. She tries to hide behind her hair. It's hard to t t talk, she says to him. I'm not the same. I don't fit in. Navi takes her by the hand. He wants to help her understand. They climb to Navi's lookout spot. From up here, they can see a lot. They perch and have a quiet stare at children playing here and there. Those kids are not the same at all. Abe's round, Cheese freckled, Layla's extra tall. Bam Bam's wild and must run free, while Lulu reads quietly. Look at Freya's crazy hair, and Tim wears glasses everywhere. And me? I am just skin and bone. And you are you. You're not alone. Each human's sort of strange, you see. That makes you just the same, like me. This world is really one big game. To play, we can't all be the same. Nita feels the right way round, thanks to the new friend she's found. Upside down was never fun. Now she plays with everyone. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, hello Mr. Mr. Frog. Frog. Why are we meeting at the farm? That's a good question. Today's song is called Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Now, who remembers what this is called? A banjo! That's right. I'll sing first and then you can join in. Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here, moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Now then, Fox, how about you pick the next animal? Everybody sing. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck-cluck here, cluck-cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck, cluck, moo moo here, moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, Hedgehog, you choose the next animal. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a baba here, baba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba ba, cluck cluck here, cluck cluck there, here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck, moo moo here, moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, pig, ready to choose an animal? Yeah! Great! Let's all sing! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Here, 
did. Let's do it again. Which book is brown? There it is. Brown book. Which pants are brown? There it is. Brown pants. Which cuckoo clock is brown? There it is. Brown cuckoo clock. Which table is brown? There it is. Brown table. Marvelous! It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again, we need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hush a bye. Don't you cry Go to sleep, my little baby When you wake You shall have All the pretty little horses Blacks and bays Dappled and gray Dancing through the sky When you wake You shall have All the pretty little horses
Little hope.